Now, you are probably very familiar with our site here in South Africa on the Orange River Rimfos Mark, famous for the the uh, fluorite uh, dodohedrons or uh, almost a pyramidal form of the fluorite. But here we have a section of the fluorite from Rimfos Mark which has been polished all the way around a very very nice polished finish also not very easy to to polish the uh, fluorite because you'd you'd have it fracturing and breaking up eventually uh, along the fracture zones uh, doesn't like temperature changes in here we have inclusions of minor pyrite crystals very very aesthetic piece i'm just going to take you around on the polished finish on this guy really really very nicely uh, polished hand done by a lady here in johannesburg and her assistants um, so not machine not chinese material this is uh, from south africa and uh, processed in south africa really lovely example of fluorite from the rimfas mark uh, uh, deposits in in south africa uh, you can even see the little fracture zones inside the fluorite and then the inclusions. If you zoom into the still pictures, you'll find those little golden crystals and there are little pyrites, maybe a little bit of iron oxides as well. On some sections, there's almost a reddish glow to it. Size-wise, we're looking at just under a palm size, so pretty good size. Uh, just let me take you on this angle as well. It's a whole adventure. Whichever angle you look at it, you, you almost there's a different journey in this. I find these rather appealing. Mainly, I'm a mineral collector, but I do appreciate the aesthetic in a in a specimen like this, or in a uh, object du art, objet du art, all the way from Rimfasmark in South Africa, fluorite.